Okay, so I'm going to talk about the best day of my life. So it was on July 13, 2013. I was sitting in my living room getting ready for my soccer game. And I was like, as I was sitting there putting on my soccer stuff, you know, grabbing my bag, waiting for my parents to leave because they were going to go to Vegas for my mom's birthday. So as they were leaving, my mom told me, I love you, like, good luck, like, have fun, you know, don't do anything crazy to the house. And I said, okay, like, don't worry, I won't ruin it. So as she was leaving, I I was walking out and I saw my cousin Myra come in and I ran to Myra, I rubbed her stomach, I was like, oh, so when's baby gonna come? Because she was pregnant. She was like, I have two more weeks and then she'll be here. And I was like, okay, like, cool. Um, are you ready to go to my game? She was like, oh no, like, I'm gonna stay home with my boyfriend or stay here with my boyfriend and then we're gonna go to my aunt's house. I said, okay, then I'll meet you at um, our aunt's house and then I'll see you later. She was like, okay, then that's cool. So. I got to my game, you know, playing for an hour or two, hour or three minutes, and then I finally called her, I was like, hey, are you still at Aunt Teresa's house? She's like, yeah, but um, can you bring me something to eat? I'm hungry. I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Uh, like, okay, I'll bring you something. What do you want? She's like, pizza. I was like, okay. So I go get her pizza from Costco. I go back to my aunt's. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go home, take a shower. Like, I'm really nasty. Like, it's sweaty. It's hot. Like, I just don't want to go, like, be there and, you know. So then I go home, you know, taking off my soccer gear, like getting ready to take a shower, and then I hear my phone ringing and ringing and ringing, and I was like, oh, it's what, like, it's nothing. Like, you know, if they really want to talk to me, they'll like, wait. So after I got done, I got out of the shower, I went to go check my phone, I had 40 missed calls, like 60 text messages, like saying, where are you? You need to come to the hospital, like, hurry up. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, what happened? So. I called my cousin, I was like, what happened? And like, what's going on? And he's like screaming on the phone, like, Jessica, you need to get to the hospital now, like right now. And I was like, oh, dude, like something happened, like something big. So then I hang up my phone, I throw anything like I can see that's like around me, I throw anything on. I get to the, like, like as I was driving to the hospital, I was thinking like three things, like dude, my shoes are on backwards, like this is so uncomfortable. Like two, like <laughs> if I get pulled over by a cop, my mom is gonna chew my ass out and then three I was like she would pick a week where all of our aunts and uncles are gone like hopefully she's not in labor like I'm praying she's not in labor so as I got to the hospital I called my cousin I was like okay come outside and park my car and I shouldn't have done that because he's only like 13 years old so I was like, <laughs> I was like come like come park my car really fast like like here like like come I'm already outside so he comes outside I throw him the keys like you know, I run into the hospital, I was like waiting there for a while. My cousin, her boyfriend, Leo, he comes and he's like, okay, you need to come with me now. And I was like, okay, like, like, oh my gosh, please don't tell me she's like in labor. And he was like, oh, no, 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 just come. I was like, okay. So as we were walking through the hall, I was thinking like two things. Like one, my shoes are still on backwards. And then two, I was like, please don't have me in the room when she's having the baby. Like, I don't want to be there. So as I was like, go into the room finally and you know seeing her lay there she was like you're not leaving me you're staying in this room and being here with me for this baby and i was like dude you're shitting me right like i have to be here <laughs> like i don't want to witness this i don't even want kids like i don't even want to see you have kids like that's awkward like who wants to see their cousin have kids i was like oh god like please so as i was in the labor room with her for 10 hours hearing her scream and yell and saying like I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push. I was like, oh my God, she's really gonna do this in front of me, I can't believe this. Like, oh my God, Myra. But like, after waiting in the hospital with her for 10 hours, witnessing like all that chaos, like, oh my gosh, no. Um, I finally got to see like my goddaughter be born and like I got to hold her and like, we had like this intimate like moment where like it was me, Myra, and then like Nala. And we were just there and like, it just was like one of the best feelings I ever had, but like the weirdest experience I will ever go through again. And like, that was the best day of my life.